In this video, we're going to talk about downloading and installing Visual Studio 2013 Community Edition and also the Monogame Game Development Framework. Now, Monogame is similar to the XNA Studio, but the XNA Studio is no longer supported by Microsoft. So let's get started. Let's go open up a new browser window and go to Google. Oops. <clears throat> Now you want to search for Visual Studio 2013 download. And it should be the first link on here to download Visual Studio. So just click on that first link. Go down to Visual Studio and go down here and click on download. Download and install that executable. And uh, that should install Visual Studio 2013 Community Edition. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go back to Google. So go to google.com. Type in mono game and hit enter. So it says mono game right once, play everywhere. Click on that and then click on get started. Click on mono game 3.2. Then click on mono game 3.2 for Visual Studio. That'll download and install the mono game framework. That's the code that allows you to create a game easy, easier than doing it from scratch. Okay, so once those are all installed, all we're going to do is go to, um, in, in order in Windows 8.1 or Windows 8, you can press the uh, Windows key and just type in Visual Studio 2013 and just hit enter and it'll run Visual Studio 2013. This Visual Studio 2013 is an IDE integrated development environment that helps you to, that allows you to type in the code and keeps track of the source code for the games. So what we're going to do is create a new mono game project. So go to File, New, Project. You'll see up in the right hand, upper right hand corner it says Search Installed Templates. Click on that and type in Mono Game and hit Enter. And you should see all the different types of mono game projects you can create. Well, we want to make a Windows project, so we'll click on that, go down to Name, and type in Game Engine. And then go down to OK and click OK. Oh, whoops. Guess I didn't had a different one. OK, mono, game engine two. And hit enter. This on the left hand side you'll see the game engine two project and all of the files and properties that it has, like the pictures of the uh, game objects, the characters, the enemies, the non-player characters. Um, what, what you'll see here are these two files, game one cs dot cs and program.cs. Game1.cs is actually your game and the program.cs is just a helper function to start your game. So double click on game1.cs. And this this over here is the game1.cs file and um, this is where you would put your game logic and your code. So let's go over some of these. Let's go down to initialize. This initialize function, it's a piece of code that'll run when initialize is called the computer will call initialize and what you'll do here is like load like your a board if you have a board you want to load like a game board um, it's helpful to load in like different uh, sprites and textures and stuff but actually when here the next one load constant this is really where you want to load your graphics files like you might have an animation of a little Mario like Mario running back and forth on the screen so uh, here's where you'd load that, or or you could have like some fonts for a uh, for some text on the screen, or some sounds, some music, MP3s, or WAV files. You'd load that. That would be in this load content function. The next one is unload content. I never use this, but it's it's probably I I'm not exactly sure what they use it for because I haven't ran into using it that much. But um, the next thing is the update. We have the update and the draw. These are two of your main functions. They're going to be called one after another over and over again. So first it'll call update and you'll change the position of your characters, the animations to see what what they do, you know, interact with different, each of the characters will interact with each other. And the draw function, well, it'll actually draw the uh, characters on the screen. So um, the draw is where the animation happens, and the update is where the moving them around. That's that's pretty much the game loop. This these this update and this draw, and you just keep calling these back and forth. So um, I'll explain more about that in the next video. So uh, thanks for listening.